Today, a Russian ship reportedly carrying weapons to Syria is stopped in its tracks. This as new violence in Syria comes to light today. First, we're going to take you to that country where amateur video is reportedly showing the government shelling a town near Damascus. The military buildup there is coming as Syria says it's ready to evacuate civilians in that rebel stronghold of Homs. That's a city right at the epicenter of this conflict. In the meantime, there's no firm agreement between the United States and Russia on the Syria crisis after a meeting between President Obama and the Russian President, Vladimir Putin, at the G20 summit in Mexico yesterday. Well, let's get back to that ship now. There's word the U.K. is stopping a Russian ship reportedly carrying attack helicopters to Syria by pulling its insurance. No insurance is a no-go on the high seas and a fairly bold move. Joining us now, Ambassador John Bolton, the former U.S. ambassador to the, U, uh, the U.N. and a Fox News contributor. And, Ambassador, we're just getting word, uh, one report, that this ship is heading back to Russia or may be heading back to Russia at this time. What do you think? Well, I think it's heading to a port somewhere because it's, uh, it's corporate owners don't want it sailing without insurance. So it's, a, it's an interesting move by the British uh, insurance company. Uh, certainly puts a crimp in this particular sale. But I don't think it's a permanent obstacle. You know, the Russian government is the seller or the, the uh, renewer of these helicopters, and, and they will find a way to get them there. But it's certainly one more tactic to make it harder for the Russians to provide arms. And we should point out that it's not illegal for Russia to sell those arms to Syria. They're not breaking the law, but it brings up the question of whether or not the United States would do something like this UK insurer and set up some sort of a blockade, at least make it harder for Russia to aid Syria. Well, there's certainly no indication that the administration is prepared to do that, and I think the uh, outcome of the meeting today between President Obama and President Putin uh, doesn't give much much reason to believe that uh, that they've made any progress. N not that anybody should have expected any, given the vastly different interest that Russia has in protecting the Assad regime than what we have. Well, Russia's mischief is in, in center stage. for a much more uh, difficult, contentious relationship in many, many different respects. I wanted to ask you about this editorial published in the Wall Street Journal today that basically says uh, what's happening in Europe as far as the crisis, the economic crisis, only further emboldens Russia. The writer says Europe's disorder is a grand opportunity for Russia. It's not all good news for the Kremlin. Uh, it will be hurt economically, but geopolitically, the writer says, this is the moment that Russia sees great opportunity in that part of the world and also in the Middle East. Your thoughts? Well, I think in terms of Europe, the, the euro crisis is just one more uh, step in Europe's decline. You know, uh, the European Union makes Europe less than the sum of its parts. It doesn't strengthen Europe. It weakens Europe. And the euro crisis is both a symptom and a, and a cause of further weakening. The Europeans have been free riding on the United States and the NATO alliance for a long time, with a few exceptions there. Uh, percentage of gross national product spent on defense is way, way below what it should be. Uh, and the euro crisis is just going to make it that much harder, uh, given the, the welfare state mentality that they've got. So I think from the Russian point of view, absolutely the euro crisis uh, gives them more leverage in the European context. You lead us perfectly into our next story, Ambassador. I know you're going to come back next hour as well to talk a little bit more about Russian, uh, Russian U United States relations and whether or not there's a reset going on or something else. Uh, thank you very much.